Here, we're going to briefly go over the doing of policy analysis. This is the last worksheet you'll do for the policy analysis section of this course. To this point, you've done most of the work of policy analysis. Remember, the vast majority of the work is in the setup and making sure you're framing the analysis properly. You've defined a problem, defined success, identified some potential solutions, established an operationalized evaluative criteria, and set up the analysis plan. Now, basically, you're just filling in blanks. One thing I need to know, and I cannot stress this enough, is that your analysis must be built upon properly cited evidence and well-crafted logic. Your intuitions, thoughts, and feelings aren't going to cut it. Remember, you're trying to advise policymakers on a course of action that will involve the public trust, the public well-being, and sometimes life and death. The analysis has to be sound. In the last video, I showed you an analysis matrix and asked you to set one up. As you can see, the policy alternatives are across the top and the criteria are running along the left. Each box is a mini report on the alternatives projected outcome for each evaluative criterion and the rationale for it. Your worksheet asks you to make the projection for each policy alternative's performance on each criterion. You're asked to make a projection of which condition the policy will produce, positive, neutral, or negative, and give a rationale for how you made that conclusion basically applying the decision-making tool you set up in the last worksheet. Obviously, when you do this for real, you'll be providing evidence with full citations of where you came by your projected outcomes and rationale. Here is my analysis matrix filled in. This table is just a brief illustrative summary of the full analysis. You can see that I've identified projected outcomes and some summary of rationale. You can see that adding additional trash cans is projected to meet the positive outcome for effectiveness because that is the case in other cities. It's neutral in terms of cost because the cost of emptying those cans is offset by the cost of cleanup. And in terms of political feasibility, this is projected to perform well. Council has already approved similar measures in other districts, so there's no reason to think they wouldn't here. I've also made some rough projections for another policy alternative, cracking down on littering, which doesn't perform as well as strict enforcement doesn't seem to deter littering, enforcement costs more money than it would generate, and doesn't seem to have good political prospects. And I've done the same for the null. Once you have the information in hand, you're asked to draw conclusions about each policy option. This means giving the reader an idea of how it performs overall. Use your determinations about the criteria to summarize the overall performance. In my case, an extra trash can performs well. It's positive in two of the three criteria. Increased enforcement doesn't seem to do as well. Neutral in two and negative in one category. And the null is neutral overall. Positive, neutral, and negative, averaging neutral. In real life, you may have some criteria that are more important than others or have a greater weight. Here, we're just treating them all equally. Finally, you're asked to make a recommendation. You'll go through each policy alternative and say, yes, we can recommend it, or no, we cannot, with a brief statement of your reasoning. Once that's done, you offer a final recommendation. Here, I recommend adding an additional trash can to every block on Market Street. In your capstone project, you'll be asked to develop an implementation plan for your recommendation. But that process you'll learn in MPA 605. This is as far as we go in this class. Sometimes your analysis will lead to a conclusion that you do not personally like or don't agree with. You have a responsibility to report that conclusion anyway. The data led you here. If your analysis was planned and conducted properly, you have to trust it. Good luck. I look forward to reviewing your findings.